Uh, just talk about how how it really was a complete game effort for your team. You played well on offense, special teams, and defensively, getting two turnovers in the red zone. Well, we, uh, we played really, really physical on defense. I felt like physically, defensively, we dominated the football game. And then I was a little disappointed because we didn't play as physical on offense as I wanted to do. Uh, you know, we still we did play very good on offense, and you know, we gave up a, a, a punt return on a, a touchdown. So we got to quit making special teams mistakes. Um, so, I mean, we got a lot, a lot of work to do in front of us, but the effort was tremendous. The fact that we came out in the second half worst possible way you possibly could, negative penalties, and they gave them the punt return for a touchdown to try to give them momentum. And that kid screwed the cleats back down into the ground and then just shut it back down from then on out. So that itself was just uh, super impressive. So I'm just very, very proud of it. Well, you're talking, um, you're talking in the post game about how you were proud of your kids for keeping their cool. It was a lot of uh, chippy penalties, yeah. especially in the first half. What can you say about their just mindset tonight? It's a style of football. You know, it's a lot of high, low, chop blocks, things like that. Mm -hmm. A little shoving here and there at the end of it, you know, plays. And just things that you can't respond to. Uh, you know, we talked about some of that. And, you know, and, and that hurt us last week. Just you know, it got a little chippy here and there. And that's what happens in football. And when you get chippy, you know, the, the guy that typically responds seconds is the one that gets the penalty. You know, we got chippy there against Woodruff and that cost us a touchdown. So we talked all week long about learning how to be a physical football team. If you're physical and you, and you actually frustrate the other team, you can't respond if they get frustrated. When I mean, talk about Montaldo, yeah. I mean, just after last week, how much confidence you have in him going yeah, three field goals? confidence in, in Carlos. What happened last week is our senior holder is out with Mono. So we had mm -hmm. a freshman holder holding. It was my fault. I didn't get him enough holds in practice. Mm -hmm. So we tweaked practice this week to really work on that. We still got some work to do because we've got an extra point block. So we've got to secure up our special teams. In close games, special teams are excited. You know, and, uh, you know, we got to get the momentum with some four special teams plays. But I trust Carlos from 50 yard field going in. He can hit them and hammer them. I firmly thought he was going to make the one last week. But, Number five for the end of the excellent job of preventing from flying. So, you know, great kid, great kid. Coach, how proud are you of your uh, defense? I mean, when the time was right, they held where they were supposed to. I thought the biggest question mark I had about this team is um, the discipline. They're not discipline as far as like they have kid discipline, but discipline is played in the science. The guys, teams before that were very physical and very athletic, they just weren't disciplined. And this was a perfect week for us because to stop the option, you got to be disciplined. And for the most part, you know, we were pretty disciplined. So that tells me a whole lot about this football team. Not only can they be physical, but they can play their role and they can play their assignment. They can be team players. So you know, we're still not good yet, but we're going to be.